Why are we here? To consider if modifying the policy will provide equal opportunity for all children in the district with the resources we currently have. The history of our regional agreement goes back to 1967 when the towns of Blackstone and Millville decided to regionalize grades 7 through 12 and opened up our original middle school high school. We are looking into the regional agreement. The school committee is looking to possibly open the agreement so that we can provide the most efficient and most effective educational opportunities for every single one of our students. The towns of Blackstone and Millville are assessed each year based upon the number of students that are enrolled from each respective town. Roughly 71 or 72 percent uh, of students attend from Blackstone and 28 and 29 percent of our students attend from Millville. The town's assessments only form one part of the contribution into the total uh, funding sources that allow us to operate this district. We also get Chapter 70, which is the primary funding source from the state of Massachusetts, along with sources of funds from state and federal grants, along with the Circuit Breaker Program. In addition, we also uh, contribute, the school committee uh, contributes each year some of our excess and deficiency funding as well. Some folks believe that the money contributor from Millville only is going to pay for Millville's portion. That is not true because the regional agreement is structured such that the assessments to both towns go together and are combined along with the state funding to form one large uh, pot of money that then is uh, divided up amongst the different uh, funding needs of the district. I believe along with our business manager after doing our analysis that if we did change the regional agreement to uh, allow students to attend um, across town lines in grade level schools, that it would not be any additional costs to the district. And uh, in fact, there may be some small savings. This would not be done for financial savings. The other aspect of it is the transportation. The district has purchased uh, routing software, which will allow us to plug in different profiles and use metrics of the size of the bus along with the length of the routes to then decide how we can most efficiently and equitably transport students. The goal would be to provide an equitable length of time on the bus for all of our students and so that one area of both communities would not be disadvantaged over any other rather that we would use the routing software to make sure that we implemented it so that all of our students would be on the bus for a similar length of time. Um, that analysis is currently ongoing and we should have that complete sometime towards the end of March of this year. The school committee would simply uh, request to place a warrant article before both town meetings so that we could open up the regional agreement to change one line in the agreement that would allow for greater flexibility to improve the education and the opportunities for all of our students and to continuously improve the teaching and learning that all of our students deserve. What are the strengths in our current model of separate town schools? Consistent strengths. Consistent areas of weakness. As a middle school teacher, do you feel that students in both towns enter middle school with similar academic backgrounds? 
One of the things we've noticed, um, especially in sixth grade, because we, this is the first time that we get the kids from both towns, is that um, they don't enter with the same academic skills. So within the first month or so, um, it's our job to try to bring everyone up to the same level. And it's through no fault of the fifth grade teachers, because when you're in two separate buildings, there's no way for you to communicate what's going on with your curriculum, even if you meet once a month. Um, it's different when you're in the same building and you see the same people day after day. And so I like to work with the classroom teachers, find out what they're doing um, academically, and then integrate it into my uh, PE lessons. Now, right now I'm spending a lot of time with the first grade classroom here. Every week we do uh, an integration lesson. Um, but having all, let's say, one grade in one building would really allow me to, to get into depth um, into really finding out what they're doing on a regular basis and uh, integrating that ac integrating the academic aspect into uh, PE classes. Um, the other topic that I could speak with is from an equipment standpoint, um, we have to supply both schools with equipment for all grade levels. However, uh, if we were to bring the two towns together at the elementary level, we can cut those costs uh, because we don't need to supply two towns with the same equipment. As students from both towns come together in middle school, how would you rate this transition academically on a scale from one to four? Um, I'd say about a two. You know, I think it's a tough transition for them, especially if they've had different backgrounds um, and different coverage of topics, that it's, uh, it's not an easy transition for some of them. When we start teaching something new and we assume that they've already had it and, you know, half the class says yes they have, half the class says they haven't, um, that's challenging, I think, for the kids. As students from both towns come together in middle school, how would you rate this transition socially on a scale from one to four? Um, socially, they're, um, once they're here, it's fine. It's the anxiety that they feel before they come because the Millville kids have misconceptions about the Blackstone kids, the Blackstone kids have misconceptions about the Millville kids. Um, if they don't see each other in other activities, um, they have a really kind of misconceptions and um, ideas about what it's going to be like to meet other kids from other towns. How did you feel the summer leading into your first day of school, knowing you were going to meet new kids from another town? Uh, I was a little nervous at first, knowing that new people were going to be at the same school, but it was also a good thing because you can meet new friends at the same time. It felt fine because I knew most of them from sports and stuff, so I didn't really feel very nervous. I was a little bit nervous because I didn't really know any of them. I was pretty nervous because I didn't really know anybody and it was kind of like starting over with making new friends. After having made friends with someone from Millville, do you feel that your elementary experience was the same in Blackstone, vice versa? And he, it wasn't very different making any new friends from a different town because we were still, we were close, just in two different schools. My Millville friends seem to have a laid, more laid back experience. No, not really. It sort of seemed like we both learned the same thing. You know, they, all the teachers had the same criteria. I thought it was about the same. Um, everyone really knew everything, like the same thing. Do you wish you had the opportunity to come together earlier than middle school? Not really. I liked coming in at middle school and being able to meet new people. Uh, yeah, so I can get to know them a little bit more before the school year. Maybe so that I could get to know them better. I do because I feel like I would know those people better. I would have liked it because it probably would have brought me closer to a lot of the Blackstone kids. Um, I do think we should have gone together earlier because we could have um, become friends a lot earlier and we'd be even closer. Where do we go from here?
Based on surveys and meeting across the district, it is our intent that we move forward with a plan to amend the regional agreement policy that will allow students in grades K through 5 to be assigned to an elementary school within the district. Look at ramification and potential models. Why this configuration? Will there be a loss of staff? What needs to be retrofitted in the classroom space to accommodate a preschool program at JFK? This would provide a tremendous benefit in terms of collaboration between our teachers. It would provide our students with a much smoother transition through all of the grades into middle school and would allow us efficiencies across the entire district.